Where's the next stone at? It's over there. Is that in this area? It is! Convenience! Let's kill this thing first. It's bollocks to you. Where is... I can't tell physically compared to the house where Guitar Guy is, so I don't know what he's mowing and what he's about to mow. I can't see him. And it just sounds like he's outside my window 90% of the time. Alright, let's see if we can finish this up with two of these stones. I'm pretty sure you can. I could be mistaken and you always need three, but I, I thought you could get it done with two. Yeah, there you go. I just never managed to do it any time I played this game, apparently. Except for this time. I think there's four of these stones you can touch. So it's impossible not to get 100%, but I think it's so random weird. I wonder if it's physically possible to get it with one of them. Like if you can just get that lucky on the random number generation. I thought I got it on three the last the time I recorded. I could be mistaken and I just always say I think you can do it in two because I have the memory of a goldfish. Don't let any of the grown-ups know that I'm an imbecile, okay? Okay. If I could hit the right button and actually make myself slightly comfortable, considering it's only been, like, what, two hours? I'm already really uncomfortable and sweaty. It's, like, in the... When it gets really hot, like, into the 90s, like into the 90s at all, my room goes above 100 at that point. At that point, I'll get a little fan and just put it like right next to me and blow air, but it's so loud that I can't do that while I'm recording, so if I end up recording in the summer, which I obviously do, it's like a death sentence, is that? So... We're supposed to theoretically be moving again. I don't know when that's going to happen, but that may have an effect on our ability to use the air conditioner without bankrupting ourselves. 50 gil! Such gil. So we have the sunstone, we can head back now. That means Pinello will leave our party, so... There's really no reason to spend license points, they'll keep it when they come back anyway. But... Do I want to buy a map? Mm, I don't really care, to be honest. There's no bonus to having a full map, as far as I'm aware. There's no reason to spend my limited gill on maps when I'd rather spend it on equipment. Mostly for Vaughn, since he's going to be in our party primarily for much of the game. Yeah. I'm tempted to make, um, what's-his-face McGee that we find in the mines into a monk. Because he doesn't, he starts with no weapon, so he just punches things. So I think that may be just kind of convenient, even though he technically is a knight and would be the most logical person to make a knight. It means you have to move those heavy hanging plants again? That's true. You'll probably want to move those. They're older than me, are those plants. That should tell you a good sign of how heavy the freaking things are. In fact, I think they're each of them, even the smaller one, is probably heavier than me. Older and heavier than me, that's great. The plant has surpassed me. I hate those things so much. They always have ants inside of them and crap and all this other nonsense. I don't know why we have to keep those, or why anyone would ever want the stupid things. But moving would also mean we would move into a more residential style area, which would probably have Verizon, which means Bright House would have some competition, which means they'd probably not be nearly as bad as they are. Hey, Vaughn. They're quite bad, by the way. 
It's I am a skinny dude. Time since we did anything together. Too long. I had a really good time. You should come to my place tonight. Well, I should probably be getting back to the store. Actually, I was kind of supposed to be watching the place for Miguelo. Crotch shot. And Ron, try to stay out of trouble. For me, I don't know what I'd do if you weren't here. That crotch. If something happened to you. So smooth. Probably I'm shouldn't have said that. Anywhere, okay? That's what I want to hear. See you later. Is his name Bosch? I think it may be, actually. Sorry, Pinello. I'm, my memory is terrible, so I apologize. Mostly my memory with names is fairly bad, and I don't know why. Hello. I'm here for a large chunk of storyline to be played. Now you'll be wanting to know how to sneak into the palace, eh? First you go to Storehouse 5. You know the one. Two doors she has. Now the right takes Ban Ratsbane to his territorial hunting grounds in the sewer bottom. But that's not the way you'll go. No, you'll take the left door down into the Garamsite waterway. The waterway leads to a stair, the stair to the palace cellars. That's your way in. But don't go counting your kill just yet, my boy. Getting into the palace was the easy part. The way into the treasury is carefully hidden. That's where this crescent stone comes in. The magics it bears can open the hidden door to the treasury, you see. Listen, Vaughn, for the words I shall speak are most important, and not to be forgotten. Do you understand? The signet yearns for sunstone strength to light the clouded way. Once in the palace, you'll find the signet tile. Very important. Give to it the sun's power, and it will light your path. Very well. Oh, a warning. Be aware that if you're caught, you'll spend the rest of your short life rotting in the Nalbina dungeon. So, look sharp, my boy. And don't go running off before you're ready. Plans freshly hatched have a habit of tumbling from the nest straight into the hunter's stew pot. <laughs> that laugh. He used to have his cam on more often, uh, that's true. There should be some highlights on Twitch where the camera's on, for what that's worth. I shaved recently, so I have, like, the... Actually, it's several days past the peach... Well, not several days, a couple... Uh, one or two days past the peach fuzz stage. So I got that going for me. are in place. They stand ready. So far, the Imperials haven't noticed a thing. Then go now and hurry the others. By nightfall, we must ensure all our men are in place. Sir. Sir. I think Guitar Guy has gotten to the point where he's right next to my window now. So, I'm gonna have my microphone possibly muted for a while. Not sure. Am I rocking the 5 o'clock shadow? It's way past 5 o'clock shadow at this point. I don't think I had my... Uh, he seems to be gone now. He's doing a different pattern than he normally does, which is confusing me. I don't think I ever had the webcam up during that long, like, several months where I didn't shave. It was like a small, it was like, I was going to say small, but it was like a jungle on my face. So that was a thing. So I shaved that, and it's been a few days now. And you don't hear anything because I keep muting the microphone. Now you hear something. And that's slightly away from my window. I muted it when he went right by the window. It's a little bit louder than that. Although it's still not crazy loud, you could definitely hear that, because I saw it. 
So now you know what I'm talking about. There's some over there. Either way, <laughs> what was I saying? Oh yeah, now it's been a few days and I've got the fuss budget? You wanna see the jungle face? This dude's name is Fuss Budget. That's glorious. It's faint at time, then loud, then faint again. Yes, that's generally how mowers work. They don't generally sit in one place. So he'll do this for a little bit, and then that, once that patch of grass outside my window is done, he'll wander off. I shouldn't say patch of grass. It's like a giant area of grass. He should be done soon with that little area, and then beyond that, it'll be way away from my window, so. Freaking fuss budget, man. It's open! Hooray! Actually, before I go down there... What do you have to sell? I need to click on this thing too. Onion bolts, don't care. Eye drops, don't care. Potions, not really. Um, I wonder if the shops upstairs are set up. That one's down there. Do I want to check that shop? Probably should shop, but I think we'll be all right without buying anything. If there is, if there is even a possibility of buying things. Well, the sound is constant. The source of the sound is moving, though, so as far as we're concerned, the sound is moving. Too bad that mower's not fast enough to cause the um, shift effect, or I don't know what it's exactly called, but you guys probably know what I mean. The thing that happens when sound is moving. Relatively moving. Relative to you. So we have like a really high pitched mower and then a really deep mower as it moves away. It'll be great. I think it can get moving pretty quick though, having said that. I don't know what its top speed is, but for a. Why was that rat confused? For a mower, it can get moving pretty fast. I know there's pots. Here we go. Somewhere around here. Chests, whatever those things are. I'm gonna call them pots, because that's what they are. He's back. He's got a really weird mowing pattern today. Like he forgot how to mow. Doppler effect, yes, that effect. Usually he'll go back and forth and he'll clear out, you know, finish up the area right outside my window in not very long. Like, maybe a minute or so. Two minutes. And then he'll move on. He seems to be having a different pattern now. Have I played a Might and Magic game? No! I have no interest in them. I have some friends that uh, have played Might and Magic games. I need to drink some tea, too. Delicious tea. Although having drank tea, now my lips are wet. I will have more pronounced... Where are you going, rat? Yeah. Trying to tell you about my pronounced teas. Eh, we we'll probably go ahead and speed this up too. Why not? There's no reason not to have it sped up. I keep saying that and then I forget to speed it up all the time. I'm so used to just playing it on normal speed. But then once you start doing this, normal speed is way too slow for anything. You just get you too used to doing everything so quickly like this. Which is great. There we go, open this treasure, get an antidote, use a potion. Huzzah!
You played Might and Magic Book 1, The Secret of the Inner Sanctum from 1986. Yes, you are, Egors. Yes, you are. Footsteps. I just decided to shout footsteps for no reason. Hello. Phoenix down! I like how they give you a phoenix down there, which you can't possibly use, because if you die, you're dead. They effectively gave you an item you can't use for a while. They seem to like doing that, too. Again, with the confused rats. What's going on here? Why are there always confused rats around here? Rat please. Ah, thank you. Should I kill those? They give decent experience, but it breaks the chain, so... Although I might end up breaking the chain eventually anyway, but... Yep, because there's a bat there, so... Irrelevance, get! Let's kill these stupid things, then. That was actually way closer than it should have been. We already have a decent chunk of health. 200 health is pretty good for whatever level we are. Five. I need to stop getting in fights with like a billion rats at the same time. This rat led me to treasure. This rat ran all the way back to me from the other side of the world. Might and Magic 5. Why would anyone play Might and Magic 5? I'm sure I fought two of those at the same time. That delay on using items is annoying. So is the lawnmower, but you know, whatever. Dagnabbit Rabbit. First time I've ever heard anyone say that. Aren't there a rare game nearby? Yes. Um, I don't know the trigger to spawning it. There is a rare game here, though. There's a, there's a ton of rare game in this game. There's game in the game, yes. I will not be showing most of them. Your tablet battery is dead. Have a good rest of stream. Watch it on your computer. I'm thinking of getting a tablet, but not that kind of tablet. Like the, the drawy art tablet one. I'm still debating it, but I, I want one, but then I'm like, eh, it's expensive, but then I want one. So, just kind of waffling about. I don't understand why they did that intro, but it's kind of cool looking. <laughs> Who were they looking at and posing for? I'm not sure, but whatever. Floats their boat, I guess. Give me my treasure map. I don't know why they don't just automatically give you the map when you enter the area rather than having you pick this up, but whatever. And save. And this is probably an area I'm not going to be using the speed limit thing on. Obey your greed, get the tablet. Happened to faffing or whatever you call it? That's still a thing. In that instance, I wouldn't be faffing. That's waffling. There's a difference. Faffing is when I'm just doing nothing. Screwing around for no reason, getting nothing done. That would be faffing. Indecisive on a uh, purchase or something. Waffling. Fran the sexy Chewbacca. That's the first time I've ever heard her anyone refer to her as a Chewbacca. I want to grab all the chests here, because there's some decent stuff in these chests. Whoop. Have you gathered up all the occasionals? Not the dailies, the occasionals. I need to fix my shirt. It's not really fixed, but it'll do. I need to fix many things, to be quite honest. Give me my chest. Thank you. A potion? Ah. There's another one. 
I think this may be the last one. It would appear so. So let's trigger this event. Wait here until I have further directions for your face. I still don't understand why this palace servant ends up helping you. Like, why... why does he help you? Hey, Buckethead! There's a thing that wasn't translated, actually. Oh, there's several UI elements like that that have no need to be translated, aren't actually translated. When we get to um, the second town, the Sky City, is it Bujerba? Something like that, I think? Maybe? The Sky City place. The, the, um, when that you have to do the event, run around and shout at people how you're Bosch. Captain Van... No, Captain something Bosch? Herptador? That part of the UI isn't translated. It's irrelevant because it's just a bar with some random text on it, but... Apart from stuff like that, that pops up on the screen and has very little use, I don't remember there being anything that isn't translated. So there's a certain way to do this and I don't remember, but I think it's along this line. Over here! Over here, rust bucket. And then we go down this way. So the last one, and then we go over yonder, and then we use the dangle on the ground. Um, yeah, and then we have to call... I think? Hold on. We have to call this guy over, so... Hey, let's go ahead and do that. And I'm pretty sure... is it here? Is that it? I think that's it. Use the signet, you dangle. And then we just call everyone back to this side and run straight north. It's a puzzle that took me ages to figure out the first time I played this game. It's also really simple, so I'm not sure what I was drinking when I first played this game. Over here! Over here, Buckethead. The footsteps when I speed it up. Shout! Hey, there we go. Head. And all the way around. Now, whoa! All right, I can't do I can't do sharp corners very well. Now I can do straight lines though. There we go. I still don't understand why, like, the very first time I played the game, it took me ages to do that, and I must have been, like, partially brain dead or something. It's not really a puzzle, but whatever. I was probably drinking tea. I'm drinking tea right now. My tree, my, despite what may seem as I try and say this sentence, my tea is not spiked. As much as I probably wish it was. It's over here. Like, I remember things like this, but I can't remember anyone's freaking name to save my life. I don't understand why my brain works this way. It's not like I've beaten this game, you know, 20 times. I've only actually beaten it twice, I think. One of those was for the Let's Play. Talking is hard. Especially talking for hours. Vaughn's having some fun. Moaning away. Who are you? 
I play the leading man. Who else? Fran, the Magicite. Now then, I'll take that. No, you won't. I found it. It's mine. And then when I take it from you, it'll be mine. Exit stage right. The gods do not smile on us. I like it better that way. Hooray! We've obtained Magicite, which has a value of one. Excuse me. I like the lights in this place, by the way. They float. There are also, like, two-dimensional textures that make this light up. It's kind of weird, considering everything else in the game is 3D except for these lights. But they look cool. If I could have some of those lights in my room, that'd be pretty sweet. Floating magical lights of 2D pixelness. It's exactly what I want in my room. Thank you. I like how quickly the transition between gameplay and CG is. What's going on? You're free, eh? That's quite an entrance. Impeccable timing. If I didn't know better, I'd say they were waiting all along. Stop running! End of the line. You have something that belongs to me. What happened? Our hover didn't just drop, it disappeared. Ah, forget it. Even if we could fly, the Ifrit's playing with fire, and I'd rather not get burned. We'll go the old-fashioned way. Not many Viera where you come from, thief. It's Vaughn. Sorry. Well... Fran is special in that she deigned to partner with a Hume. Oh? Like a sky pirate that chooses to steal through the sewers. Pirates? You're sky pirates? So you have an airship? It's Balthier. Listen, thief, Vaughn. If you ever want to see your home again, you'll do exactly as I say. Myself, Fran, and you, we're working together now. Understood? Don't even think you're getting this. The thought never crossed my mind. 